Hey, beautiful. I hope you're doing well. Um, excuse the mess in the background. That is my room because uh, let's just say we've been a bit of a hot mess lately, but that's normal on this channel. Y'all y'all know what's up. This right here is four years of dedication, hard work, and finding myself. I made this video because a lot of people seem to be confused on the whole like journaling thing. A lot of people feel like it's just so hard. Some people, they don't even know any people that journal. And I'm here to tell you that, especially guys, guys be hating on journaling. I'm, a, I'm about to tell you something. Journaling is cool. Journaling will change your life. And I'm about to tell you right now how it changed mine in particular. But when I first started to journal, um, I thought it was a bit bizarre because I'm just like writing down my thoughts, my deepest, darkest inner thoughts. And I'm just like a 17 year old uh, that just was just trying something different because usually in that time period, I would like talk things out with like friends and family. But a lot of the stuff that like I've, I've gone through in my life and the things that like I am worried to talk about like not everyone is there yet not everyone feels comfortable a lot of it can be very heavy on the heart and quite heavy on the mind as well personally i don't mind talking about things that generally make people feel uncomfortable we can talk about life death trauma whatever is on your mind um which is why like this channel is a safe space for people that ever want to talk about their life like a, a few topics i just named like these may seem general but I'm starting to find, especially as I get older, that a lot of people aren't ready for these types of conversations. Instead of like trying to force these conversations on people, I've decided that it will be a lot better and more productive if I could like actually document and articulate um, the things that happen in my life and these difficult conversations that seemingly no one wants to have. At first, it felt very awkward because like when I'm writing, um, I'm articulating and I am explaining things I've never really explained before or said out loud, but this also made me realize perpetually that I don't really know myself that well. Journaling gave me the space and capacity to go deeper within myself and to find out what I want out of life and what's important to me. So many people live their lives on autopilot and never take the time to get to know themselves. What are your values? What do you do in your day-to-day -day life to help you cultivate drive? What keeps you going? And I hate to be that person, but if you are having trouble answering these very general questions about yourself and just yourself, you need to do some work. You need to find yourself. And journaling will be a wonderful avenue to get the ball rolling. When I first started journaling, I was having, I was trying to cope and I was trying to heal um, through a lot of traumatic experiences throughout my childhood. Every day felt like mental torment trying to get through my life. And I hated that. I didn't want that for myself. I didn't want that for, I don't, and I would never in a million years wish that on other people. In that time period, I had the realization that my trauma is not my fault, but my healing is my responsibility. So I have to do the work to overcome these challenges. I was about to finish high school and I felt very lost. I was, at the time, I was applying to schools in London and I did get into several schools. In that time period, it was like 2020, 2021, I was applying to schools in London um, and I fortunately I did get in, but, and I'm, I'm not sure if things are different now, but once I was able to um, get into those schools, I wouldn't be able to change my major because like, you know, here, like, I guess apparently it's just America. In America, everyone's a hot mess, changing their majors and not knowing what's going on. But like, you know, like in London, it's gonna be different. And I was going to go for psychology um, because I, I was, I used to be interested in being a therapist. I do like the mental health field and I still want a career in the mental health field, but I'm glad I didn't go because something inside of me intrinsically said that I need more time to know myself and understand myself for sure before I commit to going to school like overseas. When I started journaling, I found out that after taking one psychology class in community college, I found out I don't even like psychology. What was I doing? I took psychology in high school, but it was like very like surface level, or at least to me, like AP psychology seemed very surface level, which wasn't like, it wasn't giving enough for me to like really like 
know, understand, and like get deep into it. And I find like there are people that like that, that are into that type of science, and that's cool for them. But for me personally, that's not what I wanted for myself. And had I, if I had been living my life on autopilot, I could have ended up doing spending my life completely wasting my time. Instead, I was able to get clear on my goals and discover that what I've always wanted to do was be really good at a language in which I can help people um, in their day-to-day -day lives, especially throughout important things like their healthcare. And that's what that's when I decided to learn Spanish. I've always known deep inside myself that I've always wanted to learn another language, but when I was able to really like find myself and talk things out, like really like document, articulate my thoughts, I discovered that this is what is this is something that's worth fighting for. This is something like worth researching, investing in, especially for myself, knowing that I can cultivate the discipline. I have the discipline. I know that this is what I want. Because I was able to know myself, I was able to keep myself out of harm's way so many times. And I was able to keep myself in the right direction. As I've explained, I do like that journaling has given me the capacity to go deeper inside myself and discover who I really am. Because oftentimes, as crazy as this may sound, I have, I feel lots of emotions on a daily basis. I go through things, but sometimes like, <laughs> and though this doesn't sound healthy, but I mean, at least before, um, I would like kind of like disassociate and like separate myself from like what's going on. And because of that, I find that I never, I never like made clear decisions on how I felt about certain situations, certain things in my life and things of that nature. This is how I've discovered things about myself um, that I need to work on as well. Like I did not know this about myself, but recently I've been coping with the fact that like I am the jealous type. Like I have the capacity to be jealous, but usually whenever I like come across the emotion of jealousy, I'm like, no, no. I just no way I'm, I'm not jealous like I, i'm not jealous you're jealous what's going on here why i know like it's something that i need to work on so i'm glad that i was able to really like catch that before i made any like my favorite part about journaling is when i get to reflect on my day and even if the day is very crazy it's exhausting it makes me feel like my life sucks I am able to keep myself grounded by reminding myself like how much abundance I have in my life and how much I have to be grateful for. I live in a country where I have so many opportunities offered to me on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm able to get my education. I'm able to, I'm, I have food, water, shelter. I, I know people, I have people that love me. I have a community. Not, not everyone has these things. And, you know, like in place in places like America, like big cities and stuff like that, like it's easy to get caught up in social media and what other people have and what's going on in everyone else's life. I often think about how other people's lives are just as vivid and complex as our own. Like I said before, it's just easy to for, it's easy to forget that there is abundance in your life and life may seem to suck, but if you take a step back and just reflect, it's all about perspective. One perspective could be, oh my God, I don't have this, I don't have that, everyone else has it, my life is so much harder because I don't have this. Or you could look at it from another perspective and it's like, hey, I may not have that, but this is giving me the strength and resilience to be greater, to build a character development and things of that nature. Because journaling has given me that perspective, I am very grateful and I make sure at the end of every one of my journal entries, I talk about what I'm grateful for. I, I thank God, the universe, whatever is out there, that they have given me what they have given me because honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I know that there, I know that there is someone out there in the world that will switch places with me in a heartbeat. And I could say the same for you. You may think that your life sucks in lots of aspects, but I promise you, there is someone out there that is going through so much worse and that's not to minimize your problems but this is to keep you grounded that there is someone that will switch places with you in a heartbeat 
And I'm not saying this, like I said again, I'm not saying this to minimize your problems, but I'm saying this so you can realize how much abundance is in your life. And the sooner you see it, the sooner you take the time out your day or your life to reflect on it, the more easier things will be, the more gratitude you will have, the more you will learn to appreciate the abundance in your life. Okay, before this video ends, I just want to say, like, I apologize if I was kind of like repeating myself a lot, but I just really wanted to get this message out there. And I hope everything I say makes sense. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to comment. I will be happy to answer your questions, to hear your thoughts. I love reading your comments, even though I don't get very many comments at all, but <laughs> it's still nice. It really is nice. Anyway. Take care. Bye.